So before the video gets started, I want to say thank you to Haley for my three new hats that you may have noticed in the last two videos in this video. I'm wearing new hats and they're from Haley. Thank you very much. She also got me a Mulan comb. It's down there. And uh, cookies are great and this movie's great. Let's get started. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Night Crossing. Night Crossing is a 1982 theatrical release. It's directed by Delbert Mann, cinematography by Tony Emmy, editing by Gordon D. Brenner, music by Jerry Goldsmith, and it's written by John McGreevy based off a true story. Delbert Mann is best known for Marty, Separate Tables, Desire Under the Elms, and Middle of the Night. Tony Emmy is best known for Enemy Mine, Talison Jones, Folks, and The Slipper in the Rose. Gordon D. Brenner I covered in the video about the Ghost of Cypress Swamp. The link will be in the description. Jerry Goldsmith is best known for Mulan, The Mummy, The Twilight Zone, and Planet of the Apes. John McGreevy is best known for The Waltons, The Farmer's Daughter, Lights Out, and Hot Rod Girl. The film stars John Hurt, Bo Bridges, Jane Alexander, and Glynis O'Connor. John Hurt plays Peter Strelzik, and he's best known for 1984, The Elephant Man, Hellboy, Alien. He's Ollivander in Harry Potter, you guys. Bo Bridges plays Gunther Wetzel, and he's best known for The Fabulous Baker Boys, Max Payne, The Descendants, and The Second Civil War. He is Jeff Bridges' brother, and Jeff Bridges is coming out in a Disney movie later in this same year. Jane Alexander plays Doris Strelzik, and she's best known for Kramer vs. Kramer, The Cider House Rules, The Ring, and The Great White Hope. Glynis O'Connor plays Petra Wetzel, and she's best known for Ode to Billy Joe, Melanie, The Boy in the Plastic Bubble, and Graduation. As I said, Night Crossing is based on a true story about the Strelzik and Wetzel families and how they escaped East Germany into West Germany in a hot air balloon in 1979. And the movie was released in 1982, just three years after it happened. And it's really incredible. The German title directly translates to With the Wind to the West, which is technically inaccurate because they did not travel geographically west. They traveled geographically due south, but it was still considered West Germany. The real flight also took 28 minutes. In the film, the East German license plates are numbered correctly, but they are pressed on West German blanks and use their standard dies. I thought that was interesting. The real Peter Strelzik died 45 days after John Hurt, who portrays him. It's kind of spooky. The film took 14 weeks to make, which is a very long time. They ran into a lot of issues because of temperatures being too low. They had to do a lot of ice removal and they had to paint trees to make it look like it wasn't the middle of winter and looked like September because the real flight took place on September 15th slash 16th of 1979. The film was shot on location in Bavaria. Disney flew the families out to meet the actors and then later to come to the premiere. The real hot air balloon was stored in an escape museum in West Berlin, Germany. They created their own intra-German border called the Death Strip. It was 16 feet high and half a mile long, which is a big deal. That's like crazy. It made $8 million in the box office, sadly. The film starts with stock footage of East and West Germany during that time and the border wall being built, etc. It had automated machine guns, it had people with machine guns, it had guard towers, it had fences, it had mines, it had triple arms, it had everything to ensure that people were not trying to escape from East Germany into West Germany. It was very, very intense. The opening music and the music throughout the film is incredible. I thought the music really, really suited the scenes and the subject matter. The accents are probably my biggest complaint about this movie. The, this is a German, these are both German families raised in Germany. Half of their family is in West Germany and half their families in East Germany. They're obviously from Germany and none of the main characters have a German accent. Bo Bridges has his American accent and John Hurt has his British accent. And it really frustrated me. It does not take from the story of the film at all, I don't think. It, it The movie is still very incredible and the acting is definitely incredible, but it was a little irksome to hear American accents and British accents in a movie about two German families. They actually kill a kid in the movie, which was insane. They've killed kids in previous movies now, especially Amy, like three kids died in that movie. But this kid gets shot multiple times. You see the blood coming out of his mouth and his wounds. It was very jarring and very shocking. This movie is obviously not for children because it has no subject matter a child would be interested in. They don't wanna watch some family try to escape East Germany into West Germany. The acting 
was incredible. It is by far my favorite part of the movie, even though the whole movie is very, very, very well done. But the acting is incredible. John Hurt and Jane Alexander whew, were so good. I have a clip I want to show you. John Hurt's friend, Peter Wetzel, they were the ones working on the balloon together in order to escape East Germany. Wetzel and his family decide they don't want to try to escape anymore, so they give up. And Peter is left to decide if he wants to continue to try and build the balloon and escape, or if he wants to also give up because he now no longer has help. So he is showing his wife the wall and the zone and what they have to do and everything and he's basically asking saying he doesn't want to be done with the balloon he wants to keep working on it and he thinks he can do it if his family helps him and he can ask his son for help and everything and that's the scene i'm about to show you is when he's talking to his wife about asking their son for help to build the balloon and it's it gave me goosebumps and think by now you know they all thought they were going to be escaping and now Wetzel has backed out and it's very like high tension. The wives are very scared, obviously, because if it doesn't work, you could all die. If people get a even a hint of what you're doing, you could be taken to jail. Like it was very scary what they were doing, trying to escape. And it was risking all of their lives and people they knew. And this scene gave me goosebumps. Their acting was so good. So I'm gonna show you that. Look into West Germany. So close. I'm sorry about the balloon. I don't want to give it up. Without Gunther? The four of us could make it. Frank will help me. Have you told him? No. It has to be all right with you first. There are boys, not much older than Frank, ready to kill us if we don't make it. Oh, yes. And if they hesitate, the automated guns will do it for them. Talk it over with him. You're sure? Even though you don't believe in the balloon? I believe in you. I love that clip a lot. I know it might not seem great out of context because you're not seeing it all the way leading up to that and then after it, but the acting in it is incredible. I think Jane Alexander's performance in that scene is extraordinary. Her beeps, her slight tears, her fear, you can feel her fear in that scene, at least to me. The pacing in the movie is fantastic. I think Gordon D. Brenner has outdone himself. I think this is his best editing work yet. I was stressed anytime they were in the balloon. <laughs> I was stressed for a lot of the movie anyway, but just the balloon scenes specifically, I was so stressed out. I think Gordon D. Brenner did a fantastic job. Also, the real life flight took 28 minutes, and when they get up in the balloon for the last final attempt, 27 minutes of the movie is left. I thought that was very appropriate and fun. The end of the movie, I cried one single tear out of my left eye because they've made it and they don't know if they're in West Germany. They don't know if they've actually made it because it's not as long as they thought it was supposed to be, but it, you know, they don't know if they've actually made it. So just Peter and Gunther go to find someone and they find somebody and they're like, is this the West? And the cop says, of course it is. <laughs> And they just start celebrating and crying. They made it, they, you know, they can have their dream, their lives. And I cried a tear. It was so, so wonderful. They even did like a freeze frame end, but they also did the like thing where they say where they are now, like at that time, it was three years after it had happened. So Gunter had become the mechanic he wanted to become. And Peter was like a TV repair guy and their kids were allowed to like do whatever they wanted and not have to join the army and just, it was so wonderful. The film structured the true story very well. I read all about the true story and the movie covered all of it. I feel like this is probably the closest Disney has stayed true to a story yet. <laughs> the movie is so well done. I didn't have an obsessive reaction like I have in the past with, you know, Smoke or Almost Angels or The Littlest Horse Thieves, but 
I like it was just a fact that this movie was good. Like I was just watching it and I was like, yes, this is an incredible movie. It's just like a fact. It's not an obsessive like shock to me. Just as I was watching, I was like, yes, this is very good. Wow. So I think I'm going to give it nine hot air balloons out of 10 only because I didn't have an obsessive reaction. That's not to say I don't think this movie is incredible and the acting deserves a 10 out of 10, but I'm giving it nine hot air balloons out of 10. Our total movie count is... Our cry count is <laughs> parent that's told so the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, but I'm not charge of you are, so you do you. And don't be the East German police about it. Watch this movie, it was so good. I'm also so hot. That didn't help me at all. <laughs>